Hi guys, welcome to this 10th and final workout in this series. Um, in this workout, we're going to do, is all stuff that you've seen before, maybe one thing that's a little bit new. Um, I'm just going to take you through the most important stuff, the most important mobility things, the most important um, strength exercises, and they're, they're all important. Every single workout has exercises that have a lot of value in it. Um, I'm going to try and compile sort of my favourite ones, things that I think are most important for you to do at home during this time. Uh, if you have one of those glute band things, one of these loopy bands, then uh, grab that. We'll use it for the hip thrust, but you don't need one. You can do it without. And also, if you have a dumbbell, grab that as well, and we'll do. We'll use that for the squats. But again, we can. You can definitely do it without. So let's get started with our mobility warm up. Coming on to all fours, and what we're going to do: making sure you've got your hands under your shoulders and then we're going to sit back on our heels you might need to slide your hands slightly closer one hand behind your head and we're just going to do a few of these t-spine twists oh that's really 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 tight <laughs> that's hard to do without warming up first a little bit uh, so don't push it some people find twisting really really hard and really tight in those muscles so <clears throat> Just doing what you can, so if you can go an extra millimetre each time, we're going to keep this quick. We're just going to quickly go through some of my favourite exercises as a warm-up. So many people are tight here. Make sure your bum cheeks are stuck down on your heels. Don't lift up. Okay, we're trying to twist through the spine so if you feel like you're sort of a little bit stuck, that's normal. Okay, last one, then we're going to get back into our squat. Yes, we're going to squat again. We need to squat every single workout, even if, uh, even if you're not doing squats. Just take even a few seconds to just get into this movement. And now even when you're working out throughout your day, get into this position. Open your hips up, open your lower back up, pelvic floor, ankles, everything. It all gets tight. Okay, so we're just going to go back and forth. If you haven't noticed this is one of my favorite ones <sighs> baby squat back and forth just opening your, the backs of your legs up hmm. okay last one and then what we're going to do come up stretch up the backs of the legs and then we're going to walk out into a plank from here and do one mountain climber and then walk back, stand back up, okay? Starting to get the heart rate up. One mountain climber, and then walk back, okay? Making sure as soon as you get into that plank position, you're like a table, nothing moves, you've got those hot cups of coffee on you, and then walk back up. Okay, just a couple more. doing okay walk back up one more just walk out to the plank and this time we should do a couple of downward dog to upward dog again this downward dog is another one that you need to do every day every single time you work out well you might not work out every day you don't need to work out every day but even if you're, even if you, on days where you don't work out, it's also a good idea to just get into this position. Our, t our shoulders get so tight just from life. And it's a really good idea to just open them up through full range of motion. Okay, we're gonna come back into our squat. And we're just gonna do a few twists. The twisting up towards the ceiling. Oh, that feels super duper duper tight. few more and then just to challenge you a little bit we're going to do our twizzler again we have not I was going to throw this into a few of the workouts and then I didn't so this one you might need a little bit of a reminder bum up in the air and you can take take your leg that's furthest away from me and pass it through in between 
your other arm and leg. Then you're going to follow your leg through, twist around, come with your weight on your arm that's still on the floor and twisting your hips so that your feet are on the floor and reach over to the other side and then come back. So foot that's closest to me, put it through, not over here next to your foot, in between your foot and your, uh, and, and your, and your hand. And then the hand that's furthest away from me comes up, twists, and you want to reach over and try and touch me. Okay? Okay, let's do a few more of those. If you're, try to just feel it out in your body. If you're stuck over here, find, find that's where you're at. Just get, go as far as you can. It takes a little bit of mobility and strength, but well, a lot of mobility and strength, but it also takes some coordination and figuring it out in your body. So just reach over as far as you can. And if that's over, over here, if that's as far as you can get, that's fine. If you can reach all the way over and start to arch your back and try and touch the floor, then that's also amazing. So wherever you're at, okay, the idea is to stretch out that chest, to stretch out the front of the hip, to stretch out the upper back, to strengthen the shoulder. Last one on each side. I think we started on this side. Last one, reaching round. Awesome. Okay, so let's get into our strength circuit. I'm not completely warmed up or awake yet, but the strength circuit will do that. Whew. Okay, hip thrusts. So get that uh, band on if you have it. Just under your knees, don't have to put it up here. It doesn't do any, like, it doesn't have enough resistance up here. Put it right under your knees. I never understand why everyone puts it up here or halfway down their calves. Okay, so in this like nice gangster car position, and then we're thrusting our hips up, looking down towards your knees, squeezing your bum. Oh, I should have done some glute bridges before this. I feel like, I feel like that muscle hasn't worked for a little while, well, since last workout. Okay, knees out. If you need to have one hand behind your head, you can do that. Looking down towards your, your knees. Okay, this is one of the most important exercises that you can do at home. It's always left out of home workouts. Make sure your feet aren't here. You won't feel your bum if you're doing that. And the band will be completely pointless. The whole point of the band is to pull your knees in towards the middle. Okay, this is, this is one of the most important exercises that you can do at home. Most people have really weak bums, really weak glutes, and Everyone, almost everyone has a sofa and can do this. I never understand why this is left out of home programs. It's so, it's not a simple exercise to do, but it's not hard to get people to do it. Okay, last three, doing higher reps of these. You should feel, and people get such a good, such a good burn on their bum doing this. And last one, awesome. Okay, we're gonna come into our clamshell because we're gonna do a really, we're going to do a push-up afterwards and I want to make sure that you're fully recovered so you can bang out as many push-ups as you can. So we're just going to do 10 of these on each side. So not that that got your heart rate up, that probably didn't get your heart rate up that much, but uh, just in case it did, just a little accessory exercise here and then and then we'll be, we'll be ready to go into our push-up. So push-ups don't involve this muscle, this, the, or these muscles. So we're letting our chest and arms totally rest before we go into it. Okay, other side. And this is just a nice, I like this exercise to just get, um, just to get those glutes going, just to fire them up. Awesome. Okay. Just weaving it into more difficult exercises because it's such a, it's difficult to do, but it's difficult to do well, but it's not exactly a strenuous exercise. Okay, last one. Okay, I'm getting a good burn now. All right, we're gonna do our push-ups. 
I'm gonna, we're just gonna do max push-ups on whatever level is right for you. So I'm gonna do mine on the floor. If you need to do it on your knees, if you wanna do it on the surface, um, go and pick your surface now. I'm just gonna do a max set of push-ups. Make sure your elbows go back and down and that you're not, you're not flaring your shoulders out, your elbows out wide and make sure that you're not doing some kind of half reps like this or quarter reps, okay? You want full range of motion reps and if you can't do it, oh, I'm stuck. And if you can't do it off the floor, like I just did on your knees or on a higher surface. Okay, so it, once you've done your push-ups, come back to the mat if you went away and we're just gonna do a set of walk out to plank. Okay, so for a lot of us, the push-ups are gonna be a pretty short set. Should be feeling pretty warm now though. I'm regretting this long top. Felt pretty cold when I started. So we're just gonna throw in some walk out to plank just to get your heart rate up a little bit higher. Okay, so we use those muscles already in a really difficult exercise for most of us. And now we're just gonna use them a little bit more just to get the heart rate up. <laughs> Last one. And then coming and standing back up, we're going to do our Romanian deadlift. Okay, just remind yourself the technique, bum back, feel the stretch on the backs and the legs. And you're going to hang out here and we're going to make our Y. Feet, feet uh, hip width apart. Okay, we don't want them in a squat width. Making our Y, we're going to do about know, seven of these. So we've got a couple more exercises to go and then we go out to a T okay just really hitting all the muscles in the back <coughs> we've got one more that we're going to add after this last two oh, I thought my arm's going to fall off right and then we're going to make a W okay we go like this so back down to your Romanian deadlift position and you're bringing your elbows up and uh Bringing your elbows up, your hands up, elbows back, pinching your upper back muscles together and shoulders back and down. Don't hunch your shoulders up. Okay, really good pinch up at the back. Okay, awesome. <sighs> Standing back up. Right, we're going to do our squats. So you choose, you can either do regular squats or goblet squats, whatever's right for you or whatever equipment you have. Okay, so we're going to do 15 of these. Feet out, 10 to 15 of these, whatever's right for you. Remember that squat position, feet and whatever's comfortable for you in the squat. Keep, hold the dumbbell like this and keep it close to your chest. I'll show you from the side. Remember, bum back and down. We're not doing this, okay? Like some sort of, Romanian deadlift, that's not a squat. If this is too low for you, remember you can always do it up here. Okay, if you're doing it up here still, you shouldn't be doing it with a weight. You wanna make sure you're working through full range of motion first, I prefer you to be working with no weight, walk, work through full range of motion, then just adding weight and doing half reps or quarter reps, okay? Okay, just a couple more facing you. Knees going out over the toes. <coughs> There's that awkward cough again that I never have until I start filming these videos. <coughs> Make sure those knees are going out over the toes. Last one. Pretty sure that was more than 15. Okay, the heart rate should be pretty high right now. So before we go back through the circuit, Pillow on the floor if you need it. I'm gonna come into a kneeling position and we're just gonna do a hip flexor stretch. Okay, so just while you're bringing your heart rate down, and take a moment to, to stretch, do a little bit of mobility work. 
Okay, so this is more classic stretching than mobility. So make sure you're not just doing this. You know, it's not, everyone sort of always goes for the, the ego reps or for the ego range of motion. This isn't doing anything. If you don't feel a good stretch here, it's not doing anything. So that bum, tuck it under and push your hip forward just slightly. And you won't be able to go very far. Even the most flexible of you, you feel a really sort of sharp stretch here. Don't go, too, don't go bananas and like hurt yourself. But it's quite an intense stretch right in here. You can bounce around a little bit if you want to. I know they always say like, don't bounce in stretches, but but uh, you're nice to move in and out a bit. Okay, switch over. <coughs> I don't know what's going on with this cough. I've like not had a cough at all. And as soon as I'm filming these videos, an awkward cough. So tucking that bum, don't arch your back and just go forward like this. Again, you might get to the stretch there, but it's much more effective to just tuck your bum under, just tuck the pelvis and push your hips forward just slightly for that stretch. Okay, your heart rate should come down now. So let's go back through the circuit. I'm gonna get into that hip, uh, into our hip thrust. Again, don't need the band, but if you want it, you can use it. And if you have a dumbbell, and if you're ready for this, if you're sort of feeling like the hip thrusts are a little bit easy, what you can do is load it up. Okay, so on, on, on your hips here, and you just want to keep one hand on the, the dumbbell now. Only do this if you feel confident in the hip thrust technique. Because you've got to have your weight on your back here. And if you've been putting your weight on your elbows, you're suddenly going to feel really uncomfortable. And you don't want to have your, your weight isn't on your neck either. Okay, so you need to scoot down so that your armpits are above this thing. Okay, so we can just lot, start to load up the hip thrust. Make sure you're thrusting all the way up to the top. I know it's a really awkward um, uh, movement. Thrusting your hips all the way up to the top. Get all, fully extend the hips and hold it for a second at the top. I promise you your bum will be on fire, especially if you've got the band going and the weight. Small children are also really useful for loading this up, but start small and add gradually because you can sort of go through partial reps and sort of feel like you're not doing anything, or you can squeeze all the way up to the top and a really big burn on that those glute muscles. Okay, last one. Oh, okay, so a little bit more booty work. That's like the best thing you can do in uh, at home. Clamshell. Okay, so just ten on this side, on each side, just before we go into our push-ups, just to make sure you know, that one is the hip thrust can be pretty challenging for some people. Just to make sure that our heart rate is back down. Make sure your feet, hips and shoulders are in a straight line and you should be really feeling it in the bum okay not through you might have a bit going on in the thigh as well but if it's all thigh you need to play around with your foot positions so that you really feel that bum cheek oh, for me that actually feels a lot more intense okay switch sides Okay, a lot of people say this is, this, this is one where they really, really can connect to their glute muscles. Okay. Just going to do 10 on this side. This five more. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go back into our push-ups. And I'm going to do it on my knees right now. Even if you, so if you're feeling like me and you're just like not feeling strong today, again, don't let your ego get in the way. Just take it down to an easier version and just do something. Um, so you can even just do a plank or a mountain climber instead. Okay, so elbows back and down. No elbows out to the side. Just want you to do as many reps as you can. You want your boobs hitting the ground first, not your hips. Shoulders back and down, don't hunch 
your shoulders up. I think this is the last one for me. Oh, oh, I feel so weak today. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and then we're going to do our walk out to plank. I forgot we had that. Walk out to plank. Just using those same muscles, but in an easier movement now. Just continuing to get the heart rate up a little bit. Remember, don't do this every time, okay? So many people I know sort of dip their hips at the bottom. Get into that nice plank position. Hold it for a second and then walk back. Everything should be nice and controlled. No need to sort of throw yourself around like a fish out of water. Okay, last one. And then we're going to do our Romanian deadlift and our little series. Just a quick reminder, we're going to do a Y, then a T, and then a W. <coughs> okay. Bum back, straight back. Find that stretch. Y. Just going to do five of each of these. Four, five, and then we're going to do a T. Two, three, four, five, and then we're going to a W, okay? Shoulder blades back and down. You're not hunching your shoulders up like this. Shoulder blades back and down, trying to get them in the opposite back pocket of your jeans. You shouldn't be wearing jeans right now. Okay, last one. That was definitely more than five. Okay, squats. Here we go. So, again, Goblet squats, hold the weight at your chest. If you're not using the weight, you can use your hands out in front of you as a counterbalance. Just helps you get into a better position. If that's too low, too, yeah, too low, there's too much range of motion, keep it higher. Just kiss your bum down on, on a sofa. Make sure those knees are going out. The biggest thing I see in squats are is this kind of, or something more subtle, like a bit of a wobble of the knees going in. Okay, that's why we were doing the clamshells, to help you push those knees out. Okay, last three. Three, two, last one, one. Okay, hip flexor stretch, and then we're done. <clears throat> So tucking your bum under and just leaning forward just a little bit. And if you want to, you can add a hand overhead. Okay, just brings in an extra little bit of stretch there. Really pushing your hips forward, but not like this, okay? So keeping that bum tight, keeping that hip flexor tight, and then try and pull your hand back here just a little bit so it's straight in line with your Shoulders. This is why we were doing the downward facing dogs. A lot of you will be stuck over here. You won't be able to get your shoulder, your shoulder all the way up. You'll sort of go like this to get it up there. Okay, switch sides. Last one. So tucking the bum under, just pushing the hips forward slightly, and then lifting that hand overhead. I'm trying to keep that nice stack. See how my hand, my head, my shoulders, my hip and my knee, they're all in a really nice straight line. I'm not doing this, okay? Or I don't think anyone can do that the other way, but like this is the main thing I'll see, is something like this, with the hand just kind of willy-nilly in the air. Really try and tuck that pelvis and then try and really pull that hand back, okay? Active, active, um, active mobility here. Okay, <sighs> that's it. That was workout number 10. Thanks for joining me for this series.